Hey everybody, welcome back to AntLab Games. Today we're going to play Viticulture Essential Edition by Stonemaier Games. Now, Viticulture is a strategic worker placement game where we are running a winery in Old Tuscany. So we're going to be planting vines, harvesting grapes, making wine, and fulfilling orders uh, through seven years. Uh, we're obviously going to be playing this solitaire, so I will show you the unique um, solitaire AI deck called the Automata and how that works and how the rules are slightly different for single player. So, with that, let's jump into the setup. Alright, so. The basic board setup is pretty much the same. We've got our four decks. So you've got your, your Vine deck, your Summer Visitor deck, your Wine Order deck, and your Winter Visitor deck. Uh, you've got your Rooster piece, um, where in a multiplayer game this would determine turn order, but in this game it's really just, um, it's basically more or less a round timer. So I've got all these crystals, um, one for each number here, one through seven, and each of these um, which are they're essentially turns, right? They call it a wake-up timer, so it's like what time you want to wake up. So the earlier you pick, um, the sooner you'll get to place your workers, but the later you pick, the better reward you get. But in this game, for a solitaire, um, you get the item with the corresponding number, and you also get to take this token as a bonus token, and I'll show you how that works uh, in a bit. So uh, this here is, uh, if you choose seven, you get an extra worker for that year. Um, you, know, you get to choose different cards. There's, you get some money and all sorts of good stuff. So, uh, but again, we'll go through that as the game goes. So this is my cork, which essentially is my victory point counter. So it's at start. The white cord is gonna, cork is going to be the opponent. So whatever difficulty you want to uh, assign to the opponent, uh, will be determined by what victory point limit you want to go up to. So if I give him 15, I just need to beat 15 to win the game. I'm going to stick him at 20. This is a, this I find to be pretty challenging, so I think 20 is a fair number. Um, if I tie, it's a draw. If I beat him, I win. Otherwise, I lose. I'm going to have seven rounds to beat him, so seven years to win the game. I can only choose each of these numbers once, and that's again, that's going to be my timer to see how much time I have left uh, before the game ends. Alright, for part of the setup, I have to choose um, what my starting components and starting hand is going to be, and that's done by this Mamas and Papas uh, decks. So you basically just draw one card off of each, and this determines um, what your starting components are going to be. So, let's see, Mama Deanne is going to give me two workers and a vine card, a wine order card, and a winter visitor card. So that's going to be my starting hand. And Papa Jerry is going to give me two lira and either a windmill or four lira my choice and I think I'm going to choose the windmill because that is actually a five lira building so that's it that's all these cards are used for so they go away and we get to go to the player board all right so let's go over the player board real quick I start with three different fields and each field has a limit to how many what kind of vine value uh, I can have growing in each field. So this one has a max of five, six, and seven, and that'll make sense when we start planting. Um, all these other spaces are really for my um, structure upgrades, and since we got the windmill as part of our starting um, components, we can apply that here. And what the windmill does is when you plant a vine each year, you gain one victory point. It can only be earned once per year per vine. So if I plant three vines this, next year, I only get one victory point for that whole year. Um, I've got my two, oh and I forgot to get, um, Jerry also gives you a large um, grande meeple or whatever he's called. So he's he's big and he's a little bit different than the other ones and I'll show you how that works in a bit. So our available workers go here 
and down here we have our our different um, areas for wine, right? So we put our grapes in the crush pad, so our red grapes go here, our white grapes go here, and they'll go up in value over year over year. Um, we also have cellars. We start with the small cellar, um, and we can upgrade to a medium and large, and the medium and large will allow us to have um, higher quality wines. Uh, so right now we're, we're, we're limited to just either a white or a red at a max value of three. And again, that'll all make sense as we, uh, as we start playing. So I think that's it. Well, let's jump into the game flow and I'll show you how the turn orders are going to go. So each, each round or year is going to consist of four seasons. So you've got the spring where I will choose my rooster uh, position. Um, summer, where is the first phase of worker placement, where we can place workers on the left half of the board, all the yellow spaces. Um, the fall, we get to draw a either a summer or a winter visitor card. And then in the winter, we're going to do a second round of worker placement for any workers we haven't assigned in the first half of the year, um, to all the blue spaces. And then year ends. The automata is going to draw a card to determine where he places workers once in the summer and then once in the winter. Um, once the round is over, um, we will age all of our grape and wine tokens, retrieve all our workers, collect any residual payments that we earn throughout the year, and that's what this is going to track. Um, well, you can't see it, it's right below here, but we'll go through that when that happens. Um, we would discard our hand down to seven cards and then move on to the next round. So that's it. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, we'll cover any other rules details as we play, and I'll explain as we go. And I think it's I think it's time to get this started. Let's see how we do. All right. So the very first thing I'm going to do each round is choose a wake up position. And what do I want to to do? I think first we need to look at our hand and see what we've got here. So I've got a Merlot, which is a vine, but I'm going to need a a structure. This is an irrigation structure in order to plant this, but it'll be worth a value three red grape, which is good. Um, I've got an order to fill. This is a definitely a cheaper order, so I would just need a a um, quality two red and a quality two white to fill this order. So that's a pretty easy one. And I've got a winter visitor, which is a guest speaker, and all players may pay one lira to train one worker. So that's really cheap to do that. So I think I'm definitely going to want to do that at some point. So with that said, I think what I want to do is choose number two and I get this bonus token and I'll explain how that works uh, when we when we start placing workers. And what that's going to do is going to allow me to draw a vine card. And we grabbed a Cabernet Sauvignon which requires a the irrigation, but it also requires a trellis. So we're going to have to do some building, I think, before we can start planting these. Um, all right, so now that we've chosen our wake up position, we start um, the summer. So that was spring, now we move into summer, and that's where the automata is going to draw a card. Now what we want to look for on these cards are if any of these phases has the letter T in red. And that's going to represent Tuscany, the expansion, which I don't have, so I have to ignore any of those. Um, actions, but this card doesn't have any. So we're going to look for, because it's summer depending on the season, um, any green or yellow, and that'll be his moves for the summer, and any blue and red will be his winter. So we take his workers and we're going to place them now. So he's going to do draw one, and he's going to do play one uh, summer visitor. Draw one vine and play one summer visitor. So I'll show you how that works. So all of the yellow spaces are where you can place workers in the summer. So the automatic chose draw one. So I would be able to play a worker here to draw a, another vine card. Play a worker here to draw a summer visitor card. But that's where he took those spaces so I can't I can't take those spaces. Only the first space is available to use. So he's going to occupy those spaces. So those are the only two he places. However, this grande worker, this big guy, what, what his uh, benefit is, and he's definitely larger, you can see, than the other ones, is that you can play him as sort of a copy, and I can copy the other player's move. 
and take that action. But only he can do that, so my other workers can't do that. Um, so that allows me to copy one uh, occupied space per, per worker placement round, basically. So with that said, now I get to choose, now that he's done, we're in the summer, so I get to choose where I want to place my three workers. So I'll have to think about that a second. All right, so what I think I'm going to do for my first move is I'm going to build a structure, right? But I'm going to use my little bonus crystal, my orb, and I'm going to pay that. And what, what that does, and I'm allowed to collect these every turn um, and use them when I want for each turn, every year, and use them on whatever terms I want, and I to collect the bonus um, item for this, uh, for this task. So I get to collect one lira as my bonus, right, for, for spending that chip. And now I get to build a structure. So I'm going to go ahead and build my irrigation. So for a cost of three lira, which I have exactly that, I am going to build irrigation for my property. So I find that irrigation token and I will put it there. Now I know that I have irrigation and that allows me to plant this Merlot. So we'll get that done. So for my second action, I'm obviously going to plant my Merlot. So how does that work? Now when planting, as long as I meet the requirements from a structure perspective, I can plant this on any of my available fields um, to a max value. You know, as long as I don't go above the max value, the max vine value. So this vine is a vine value of three. So if I plant it here, which has a max value of six, I am allowed to plant a total of three more value in grapes. And that could be any combination. So if I had another vine that had like a one and a one, a one white, one red, that would be two more, and that would be a five. If I could put another three on here, or a two and a one, so whatever combination up to a max of three, you know, to fill up that six, and then that's all I can plant on that field. But, so that's it, that's planted, and remember, my windmills, when I plant a vine, I gain one victory point for that year, so victory points here, I just earned my first victory point. All right, so I have one more worker left, but I think I'm going to wait and save it for the winter because there's nothing else I really need to do here right now because I don't have any more money, basically, to do anything else. I mean, I could, I could sell a field if I wanted to to make some money, but I don't think I want to do that yet because um, there's a couple things I could do in the winter that, that aren't that bad. So let's go ahead and move into the fall where I get to draw one visitor card. So I'm going to draw a summer visitor card and it is a wedding party so I can pay up to three opponents two lira each alright so this card is really only beneficial if you have um, other opponents right so for single player this doesn't really do anything so um, I'm gonna discard it and draw a new one so I think there's like four cards in total that that are specific that don't really have any benefits to the solo player so um, this one does. So I can gain three lira, build a structure at one lira, discount, or plan up to two vines. So that one's pretty good. And with the automata, he's going to, now we're going to go into winter. He's going to draw again. And any the red or blue. So this red has the T, Tuscany, so I'm going to ignore it. So there's the T. And I'm going to take two more workers, and he's going to go on the play a winter card winter visitor and fill a wine order so those are two actions I would either have to copy with my my large meeple or I won't be able to do them so um, now I get to move on to my worker placement and what I think I'll do is I'm gonna harvest a field let's, let's get that going and I'll show you how that works so the vine I planted I'm allowed to harvest one field so no matter how many vines I have here I can harvest that field all of them um, had I used the bonus, I could harvest two of the fields, but I'm only going to be able to harvest one. So what this, what this yields uh, is a three, a level three, or a quality three red grape. So now I put the token here, now I know I have a quality three red grape. So that's it, and that grape can be turned into a wine if I choose to take that action in a later turn. Alright, so now that, now that all the workers have been placed, um, the, the season is basically over, so winter's over, and now we do a year-end 
you know, basically year-end cleanup, which um, involves cleaning up the, all the, the meeples, all the workers come off the board, and we have to age all the grapes and wine. So all of our grapes would go up one level. So that goes from a three to a four. So now it's going up in quality as it ages, right? And any wines we would have would be able to go up a, uh, a quality level as well to the maximum of what my current cellar level can support. <clears throat> so right now, my wines can only ever go up to a quality of three. Um, once they go medium, they can go up to six and go large, I can go up to nine. So right now in the, in the small cellar, I can't even make a blush, which is really just a combination of a, a red and a white grape. Um, so I'm going to have to do that upgrade soon. All right, so you've seen how a year plays out. It's pretty straightforward. Um, I'm not going to have to really go through a lot of explanation on what I do now, so you should be able to just follow along. And the, and the turn should go rather quickly, I think. Um, and, uh, you know, I'll pause to talk about something that we haven't covered yet. So what I'll do is I'm going to think about doing my my next turn. So what I want to do is I'm going to take number three and I get another one of these bonus tokens. Remember I can't choose one that I've already taken so that once I use it it's gone. And once all these are out my game's over. So what I chose was draw a wine order card. So I've got a new one and this one's going to require um, two quality six wines and it'll give me five victory points. So that's a good one. Um, but I'm going to need to upgrade my cellar in order to make a wine of that quality. And I definitely got to gotta get planting. So that is the spring. Now we go into summer, so we'll see what the automat is going to do. So he's going to give a tour to gain two lira. And he's going to skip this one because it's a Tuscany event. So he's done. So I've got pretty much anything I want to do this season. So let me think about that. Okay, so for my first worker, I am going to draw a vine. So I get a Trebbiano, which is a white grape. It's good, but I'm going to need to get that trellis built. So I need some money. Alright, so with my second worker, I think I, I need some money. I really need to build that trellis, otherwise I can't plant anything. So, I have the opportunity to play this artisan card, so let's do that. Um, the trellis only costs two, so that's not a bad gig. Alright. Um, so if I play her, I can play this artisan card, and what this will do is it'll let me, I can choose one of these, and I'm going to gain three, three lira. So I'm playing my card, I'm going to gain 3 Lira, and now I can go ahead and build my Trellis. So I'm going to pay 2 of my 3 Lira and build the Trellis. The Trellis costs 2, so that's going to go here, and that will now allow me to plant, so I can go ahead and do some planting. Alright, so my last worker, I'm going to plant, but I'm going to use my bonus token to be able to plant two vines now. So I'm going to plant the Trebiano here. So now I have a total of five and my Cabernet Sauvignon here on this field. So I planted so I get one victory point because of my windmill. I have both structures now to support these types of vines. And that's the end of my turn. I've got no more workers to place. So I get to draw a visitor card for the fall, so I'm going to take a summer. I get a wine critic, so I can draw two cards of any type, or discard one wine of value seven or more to gain four victory points. So I'll save that one for later. I'm going to need those, that's for sure. All right, so we do Automata for the winner. He's got one move, which is play. And I'll put a meeple on play a winter visitor card. So he's done. It really doesn't matter for me because I'm out of workers. Um, so year ends. I'm going to go and age my grapes. I've got no wines yet to age. And 
now I'll collect all the workers off the board and we will start the next year. Alright, so we are going to have to choose our starting position for this year. So what I think I'll do is I'll take um, I'm going to take a, a yellow card, a summer visitor. And we'll see what we get here. We get a patron. Ooh. The patron has gained four lira or draw one uh, one one um, wine order and one visitor. Ooh, that's nice. Four lira. Very nice. All right. Let's go and choose the automatis move. So we are going into summer. Automata is going to take draw a vine and then play a. Uh, see, I wanted to do that. He knew play a summer worker or summer visitor. What a jerk! But I can, I can copy him. So I'm going to use my giant meeple. Play him right next to him, and I'm going to copy that move because I want to play this patron because I need money. So he's going to give me four lira. So I'm going to take four lira from the bank, from my patron, and my next move is going to be to build one structure, right? And that's going to cost me four lira, that same four, and I will show you why. So to expand into a medium seller, I need to spend four lira, but now my wine quality can go up to six, which will help me fill this some of my orders. At least my more difficult order. For my last turn, uh, my last worker, I'm going to pass, and we're going to move into fall. So I will draw another summer visitor, and we get build a structure at a three lira discount, or gain one victory point for each four lira structure you have built. Wow, these are see, that's why I like these summer cards. They are really, really good. Um, really good, really powerful. So. Um, we move into the winter. We'll draw the automata. He gets a couple things, so he's going to put it on. Ah, see, he knew I wanted to play that card. That's the one move I wanted to do, was play my guest speaker, and he took it from me. Oh, boy. So that really puts me in a bind here. But, nonetheless, I'll just do some work. So we get to harvest one field. We'll do that. And what I'll do is harvest this middle field right so I get a three quality red grape and a two quality white grape so we're getting some some stock here so we can actually start making some wine now so that's good so that'll be my final move um, my turn's over. We're going to do the year-end. So year-end, remember, we age all of our grapes and wine. So this will go to a 4, this will go to a 6, and this will go to a 3. We will collect all of the workers. And begin the next year with my wake-up move. Alright, so I think I'm going to take the worker this year. So I'll have an extra extra hand this year to do to do some I'm gonna make some wine I think so that's that's what we're gonna do and we jump into summer so Automata what's he gonna do he's gonna plant this year that's fine because I wasn't doing any planting and that's all he's gonna do for the summer so now I get to decide what I want to do for the summer so I hmm <laughs> There's a couple things, a couple good things I can do here, um, which I think I might do now that I have the extra hand. I could, yeah, huh, what do I want to do here? I'm going to, I need some money. So I'm going to give a tour to gain two lira. So I'm going to take two, and then I'm going to play a worker on play a summer visitor card. So I'm going to play my, my architect, 
and he will let me build a structure at a three lira discount. So I'm going to build a six lira structure. A six lira structure for only three lira. So that's all I had. But now I've got the largest seller available so I can make the highest quality of wine. So I don't have to worry about that later. So that's that. All right, so that is all I'm going to do for this round. And I am going to draw my card now. So do I want to, yeah, I'm going to go with another summer visitor. I like these. I've been drawing some good ones. So, oh, we can gain three lira or make up to two wines. So it's a novice guide. So these are, these are really powerful. <clears throat> so we're moving into winter now. Our automata is going to put it on draw and order. And then fill an order. All right. Well, that's not terrible, um, and that leaves me open here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to make up to two wine tokens. So let's go ahead and make some wine. So I'm going to use my grapes to make wine, and I can make up to two wine tokens. So I'm going to take my three white grape and make a three white wine. I'm going to take my four. Hmm, do I want to do that? Yeah, I guess. I'll take my four red grape and make a four red wine. So I made two wine tokens. So I have a three and a four. So that's it. That's all I can do. But for my final play, I'm going to put my Grande Meeple in there. And I'm going to copy my fill order. And I'm going to fill this order, because you saw I just made a three white and a four red, which is definitely above the requirement for this order and we're going to fill it so what happens is I remove these two because now I've just sold them I collect two victory points one two and I earn a residual payment of one lira so now I move that here and at the year end we will earn one lira as sort of a residual income which is very nice so speaking of which I think we've just reached year end so for year end I will age my grapes they are now a quality of seven I will retrieve all of the workers from the board and this guy's gone now and I will collect one lira for a residual payment and that ends that year. So let's move on to the next. All right, so for this turn, we are going to, we'll take the victory point. So we'll go to five. And what are we gonna do with the automata? So let's see what his draw is. Oh, he's got quite a few things going on here. That's not good. So the automata is gonna build a structure. He's going to sell grapes and he's going to play a summer visitor card now I guess that allows for me to work my fields a bit so what I'd like to do is I'd like to draw and use my bonus to draw two vine cards so let's see what kind of grapes we can plant all right so we got two basic grapes a Malvasia and a Sangiovese I guess that's how it's pronounced. So let's plant. Uh, well, let's get ready to plant these because that's going to be my next move. And I'm going to go here, and I'm going to pay my other bonus chip to plant two vines. So I have room on here to plant another. So three, four, five, six, and I have room here to plant another. So that's four five value right so we're good all right so that is going to end because i'm not going to play my last worker so we go into the fall and i draw a card i'm going to take a winter visitor card this time so we pull an assessor so i can gain one lira for each card in your hand or discard your hand down to a minimum of one card oh you have to have a minimum of one card to gain two victory points that's really not that good of a card for me um, 
So that's that. We're going to go into the winter. Automata. He's got a Tuscany symbol, so he's not going to do anything this winter, which is fine, because now I get to choose what I want to do. So I could harvest my fields right now, which would be which would be nice to do. But I think I'm going to need the workers. So I'm going to play a winter visitor and use the guest speaker. So the guest speaker will come and all players may pay one lira to train one worker. So I'm going to train an extra worker for my one lira. And he is going to go here. And we'll train him and I get to use him next year. So that is the end of that turn. We're going to do the, uh, the year end. So we will age my grapes one. We will clear the board now so I get an extra worker for next year. And I get my residual one lira income. And that's it. Two more rounds. Might as well go here and collect another lira. And then see what the automata is going to do. Alright, so he's going to build a structure. And that's it. That's not too bad because I don't plan on building. Alright, so. I don't think there's a ton I want to do, except I can do, yeah, I'm gonna, I can make that, no, I can't do that. So I, I really, I really don't have much I want to do in the summer, because there's no cards I want to play, there's really no planting I want to do. I think there's a lot of, a lot of things I want to do. In the winter, there are a lot of things I want to do this winter. Okay, so I, yeah, I'm going to have to wait. So I'm not going to do anything here. I'm going to wait till the winter. So I'll pass. So what I get to do then is just draw a card. So I'll take another winter visitor card. And the queen, the player on your right must choose one, lose one. All right, so... That's another multiplayer card. Can't use it. Let's see. Uncertified Oni Oia o Oiana Oniologist. Okay. Age all of your wines in your cellar twice, or lose one victory point to upgrade your cellar to the next level. Ooh. If I had wine, that would be great, but I don't. So let's move on. Automata, what are you gonna do? You are going to draw card and you're gonna make up to two wine tokens so I guess I can't do that that's probably not ideal for me considering what I really wanted to do so I am going to harvest a field and I'm gonna pay one of these to harvest two fields so I get a quality three white and a quality three red from the first field. My second field is going to give me a quality five red. So I've got a lot of reds going on, not a lot of whites. For my second move, I'm going to copy him and I'm going to make up to two wine tokens. So I'm going to make an eight red and I'm going to make a three white. All right. The next move I'm going to do is I'm going to play a Winter Visitor card. And I'm going to play the Uncertified Oneologist. And I'm going to age all of my wines in my cellar twice. So this goes to a 9, and this goes to a 5. All right. All right, so I have one more worker, but there's nothing I can play because I can't train, and I, I can't fill my order. I don't qualify my wine. My white wine's not high enough, so I could play him here though and just earn a leer. So I was hoping I would have gotten to draw a card this round, but he took it. So and I had to choose 
to either copy that or copy to make the wine and I, I think making the wine was more valuable because I only have one more turn to try to make up a lot of victory points. Alright so the round ends and I'm going to age my grapes and my wine. I'm going to collect my residual payment and I'm going to clear the board for the next year. Final year. Alright so this is it. Last year. Let's see what we can do here. Alright, so the Automata is not doing anything. He's going to give me free reign in the first round. So that is lovely. And what I think I'm going to start out with is uh, I'm going to play this with a bonus. And that's going to allow me to play two Summer Visitor cards. And the first one we're going to do is this. So I can discard one wine of value seven or more to gain four victory points. And I do. I have a red wine at value nine. So I'm going to discard that and I'm going to collect four victory points. One, two, three, four. That's my first card. Now my second card is gain three lira or make up to two wines. I'm going to make two wines. So I get to make a six Red and a four. Oops, sorry, that's a blush. That's a blush. Actually, I think I had my other one down here in the blush, didn't I? So, either way, top is red, bottom is blush. But I treated it like a red. Um, a blush, I would have had to combine a white and a red grape to make a blush, as I said earlier. So, um, but no harm, no foul doesn't mean anything. As long as I treated it proper. And I did. So, that's that. I've got three more workers now. Alright, I'm going to end my tour here. And I'm going to draw a winter visitor, so a marketer. Draw two summer visitors and gain a lira, or fill one water and gain one extra. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, so let's see what Automata does for the last season. He's going to harvest. Of course he is. Of course he is. Alright, let's decide what we want to do for the winter here. Alright, I think first things first, I want to draw an order card. Oh, wow, look at that order. So, three reds. That I could potentially fill. That I could fill. Alright. I might be able to do this. Or at least come close. Alright, for my first... My first move is going to be to fill this order and I'm gonna use my last bonus chip to gain the extra victory point so that'll give me 10 so I get that victory point now I can fill an order now, the only one I could fill are these the six and six so a six white and a six red so I will use those I will gain five more victory points and additional two lira and residual income, so I'll bump that up to three. But that order is full, and I've got one more worker left. All right, so I am, I've got one move left, and all I can really do is play a card at this point. And this one's discard my hand down to, you know, discard it entirely. And I gain two victory points, so 17. So I fell three points shy of tying this guy, and four points shy of winning, so... One more round, I would have been able to do it because I could have gotten that. I could have gotten that mission done. That that order, I had the fields for it. I could have easily done it. I just needed like either two more workers or another round. But uh, but that's it. So I hope you enjoyed the playthrough. We came close, but it's definitely beatable. I mean, you just get some some bad plays or some bad draws, and if the automata takes up the wrong spaces that you need. You know, he can really cripple a turn for you. And one year is all it takes. One bad year and you, and you fall behind. So, But I think um, I think we did fine. I hope you enjoyed the playthrough. Um, as you can see, the game plays great solo, in my opinion. So, I mean, every game has been completely different. It really depends on uh, what kind of vines you draw and and really how how the automata plays really determines how, how you're going to play the game. So, um, now that's Viticulture Essential Edition. Um, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the playthrough, and please feel free to point out any rules mistakes in the comments section. See you next time.